Laminitis is an incredibly painful condition that typically affects the front feet of horses, causing them to shift their weight backwards onto their hind feet. When walking, the horse moves gingerly with stiff front legs, taking small steps with their weight rockered back on their hindquarters. Their discomfort is much more evident on hard ground. When turning, the horse pivots instead of crossing over with their front feet. This horse is much worse turning to the right than to the left. When the condition is chronic, irregular growth rings that are wider at the heels than at the toes are evident on the hooves. Chronic abscessing at the toe often occurs. Each horizontal line is where an abscess ruptured at the coronary band, then moved down as the hoof grew. Laminitis is inflammation of the Velcro-like structures that hold the hoof capsule to the coffin bone inside the foot. When these tissues are damaged, the coffin bone rotates away from the hoof wall. With the bone no longer supported, the weight of the horse can push the coffin bone towards the ground. This is termed sinking. As this occurs, the blood vessels providing nutrition to the hoof are crushed, furthering the disease process. In severe cases, the bone can actually come out of the bottom of the foot, necessitating immediate humane euthanasia. So what causes this horrible disease? Endocrine disorder is often to blame in horses with laminitis. Older horses can develop a tumor of part of the brain called the pituitary gland. This causes a condition commonly known as Cushing's disease, which is actually termed PPID. In fact, 20% of horses over the age of 15 have this condition. While treatable, it is unfortunately often not recognized early, as the symptoms of PPID look like normal aging. Signs of PPID include muscle loss and weight loss, lethargy, and an abnormal hair coat. Many people don't recognize PPID until it's severe enough that laminitis occurs. Another endocrine disease called equine metabolic syndrome, which affects overweight horses and is similar to type 2 diabetes in people, can also cause laminitis. This horse shows a shaggy, long hair coat associated with advanced Cushing's disease. While a thicker, longer coat is somewhat normal in the winter, this horse did not shed out the following spring. After one year of treatment, the same horse showed a much more normal coat. Lush pasture high in sugars and stressed pastures in the fall are associated with laminitis. Overingestion of grains is also a risk factor. Severe infections, like that caused by the retention of fetal membranes after delivery, colitis, and pleuropneumonia can also be to blame. So how do you treat laminitis? The mainstay for treating acute laminitis is reducing the swelling within the hoof capsule. Ice, bute, restricted exercise, comfortable footing, and immediate veterinary inferior attention is necessary. It's much better to prevent than attempt to treat laminitis. Work with your veterinarian to develop a nutritional program for your horse. Have your horse evaluated annually to ensure predisposing medical issues are recognized and corrected early and make sure your horse has regular quality farrier care.